Hello, here's a quick demonstration on how to add a new work or order button to your case record block. We're going to start by going to the central app here and we're going to create a new form. This new form um, is new functionality where you can create uh, forms directly within Centro. Um, I have a form that already exists called Create Work Order, but I'll just walk you through the steps to create a new one. So we hit the new form button. We select the type of user. Generally, most folks use automation users, so um, non-Salesforce users can create this um, record. I'll just call this one new work order. Um, I have a set of um, what to uh, posting functionality here that I can use, but first let's build the form. So I'm going to go ahead and select my object, which is work order. And then I'm going to add a handful of fields. So make sure you add any fields that are required on the Salesforce side to the form. So that way the form cr gets created correctly. Um, you can also change the labels here. So I'm going to go ahead and add two fields. I'm just going to pick the account and the status field. Next, because I want it to be related to the case in which uh, you click the button, grab that case ID, go ahead and hit add, and then move that case ID down into the hidden section, and then use a merge tag of uh, bracket, bracket, record ID, all lowercase, to make sure that the record ID of that record block gets passed into the form. Okay, next we can take a look quickly at the post uh, Salesforce record options. So this will show you and give you options of where to post that newly created record um, when it's created. You can use the um, variables of channel ID and then obviously the record ID that was just created. Um, you can then um, probably send as a reply so that way it posts um, beneath the case that's created. And then we automatically pull in that message text field right here and go ahead and hit save. So that creates our um, new work order form. So now we have our new work order form. And now the next step is adding that to the case record block. So you can do that in two different ways. The first way is um, to the record block in Slack. To do that, just find a case record block within your um, system. Here's my case record block. I'm gonna click on these three dots here and hit customize. Then in my custom workflow buttons section, I'm gonna add a new one and add a button. I'm gonna use the second radio button that is submit uh, central Salesforce form. And then I'm gonna name my button and I'm gonna do an emoji in that button called toolbox. And I'll just call this um, new work order. Then in my drop down, select my form. So new work order here. I have some additional functionality where I can fire, uh, fire a platform event um, and then some button functionality, but I'm gonna leave these as is. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Hit save again. And one more time. So now on all my new cases that are created, I will have my new um, work order button. So let's test it out. If I hit the new work order button, I get the form prompted below. I make the selections as, necess as necessary and hit save. That created my work order and it should have posted that work order into my thread here. So here's my um, work order uh, record uh, that was created, posted, and notice here that it's related to the case in which I posted on. The last thing I wanna show you really quick is what um, one other way you can add that to your record blocks, if your record block options. So in Salesforce, using the Centro send flow notification message, you can um, also add those Centro forms. So let's jump in here. So the other option is if you only want this button to display on certain record blocks that are posted from Salesforce rather than all record blocks, in the Salesforce 
post uh, message down at the bottom, you have the custom buttons and you can add a custom button here and you can call it a new work order. Again, you can add an emoji if um, so desired. And then here, select the checkbox of show central form and select the new work order form. Those are the two ways to add central forms to the central record block. Please reach out for any questions.